Hi everyone, welcome to online classroom Jeku Dio. First of all, I would like to welcome you to Form 1. Congratulations on choosing DLP program where you will study science in English. Chapter 1 Introduction to Scientific Investigation. We will discuss a lot of basics of science and most probably some of these things you have learned in primary school before. In this video, we are going to look at the first topic, which is science is a part of daily life. What is science? If you observe the phenomena around you, for example, the lightning, beautiful rainbow, and also the refreshing dew on the surface of leaves in the morning, and also the romantic sunset, these are all natural phenomena. What is science? Science is a discipline that involves systematic observations and experiments of natural phenomena, which we have looked at a few examples earlier. And we can also see uh, or observe signs that affect our daily activities. For example, taking selfies, pictures with your uh, camera on your phone, or using a computer, for example, during your online classes, or even watching this video. Science plays an important role. They are all related to science. What are some of the importance of science in our everyday life? We will look at a few examples. Science contributes to the area of engineering, such as construction of tall buildings. Look around you, we have a lot of magnificent, beautiful tall buildings in Malaysia. Science also contributes in, in terms of invention of satellites, and this has made communication very much more effective and also faster, not only just for TV, but also for your cell phones, internet, okay? And science also increases crop use by invention of a few things like fertilizer, pesticides and also uh, one awesome technique that is called hydroponic method. Vaccine. I believe a lot of you are very familiar with this word, aren't you? Especially in this season. Okay, discovery of vaccines and antibiotics in the field of medicine helps in controlling infectious diseases such as COVID-19 and reduces death rate. There are a few fields in science, okay? We are, we are going to take a look at all of them. We have physics, biology, chemistry, geology, astronomy, and also meteorology. What is the difference between all these fields? Let's take a look at them one by one. Physics is a study of energy and its influence on matter. For example, engineering. Biology is a study of living things. For example, zoology, microbiology, physiology, and also botany. Okay, it has to do with things that is alive, whether it's uh, plants or animals or uh, microorganism. Chemistry is a study of matter and its reaction. Some of the examples will be pharmacology, forensics, and also toxicology. For geology, they study rocks, soil, and minerals. So example, geochemistry, geomorphology, geophysics and astronomy is exciting studies of planets stars and other objects in the universe and the example will be astrophysics meteorology are people uh, are the field where people study weather and also climate change for example hydrometeorology According to the different fields of science, they offer different careers in science, which you can take a look at this table, okay? You can also look at this table in your textbook at page 7. So, depending on what your, uh, your interest is and also what you are good at, you can choose your careers accordingly. A lot of machines that we use today to solve a lot of problems 
of our daily life, such as aeroplane uh, or a car, our cell phone, laptop, that help us so much in our daily lives, are the innovation of uh, science. Okay, they they a lot of scientists do a lot of innovations, a lot of studies, and come up with these inventions, which we are very grateful today. Well, that's all for the first. Topic. I shall see you again in the next video. Okay, bye. If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.